Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for uh, February 2022. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, there will be two parts to this reading, but um, both parts are actually going to go live at the same time, um, kind of. So if you're watching this on the premiere, um, then the set part two is going to go live after the premiere, but um, both parts are going to be put up at the same time, so there is a link to part two down below, uh, and you can watch it immediately on YouTube, Scorpio, so make sure to do that. But um, we're, I'm going to call this a matrix reading. I don't know why. It just popped into my head kind of because it's like a matrix with these um, extra cards on the side here, but uh, that's going to be that. So uh, let's see here, Scorpio. Uh, what is going on for you? Uh, you have this pineapple card. It says uh, reconciliation. <laughs> so some of you could be going back to a person from the past, although what I would say is probably not. You have the Ten of Swords here, which is like deciding to um, release a person. This kind of gives me the vibes that some of you could have already gone back to a person from the past. And um, you know, it was probably necessary. Um, I don't really do X back readings. I think we should just move on for the most part. But at the same time, um, again, I'm not, I, I think sometimes maybe we need to go back to a person to learn something, right? So some of you that definitely could be um, part of what's going on here. Other than that, I am getting the word reconciliation, but not um, in the relationship sense, I'm getting reconciliation as in some of you could be receiving something that has been owed to you that was almost like, you know, that was uh, skipped over or missed in a lot of ways. Like, you know, when we think of reconciliation, sometimes there's like financial reconciliation where maybe there was a mistake made and you didn't get certain a certain amount of money and now you're going to get the money back or something like that. It's definitely popping into my head that way. So I do feel that could be happening for some of you. For others, you know, I'm getting a million things here, actually, <laughs> on this card. It's uh, really, really popping into my head very strongly, that reconciliation energy. For others, I feel it's kind of like things are being ma made right. It's like the word reconciliation, it can almost be like a card like, ju you know, it can be like an energy like justice almost where, um, again, you're receiving reconciliation in the sense that um, you're getting something that has been owed to you that you didn't get in the first place could be money. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, it could be a job as well for some of you, I feel. Uh, in this first row, you have the Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the Eight of Pentacles. Again, it's like you've been waiting for something for a long time with this Hermit energy. And even right next to it, you have this Casket card. And this Casket card says, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. It's like interesting how this is set up. And you have the Ten of Swords in that middle row. So again, if you have, like, I feel like some of you did reconciliate with a per, get back together with a person, and it just didn't work out, and now you're finally moving on. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Death, <laughs> moving on. It was probably a Virgo, is what I would say here, or another water sign, um, or a Virgo with water, water with Virgo, take it how it resonates. And I feel like, you know, really, um, I'm overcomplicating this. I feel like it's just saying, you're moving on to something new here, and especially it could be in love. For others, you have this pin card, which says new job or career. So you could be also getting a new job, career, business with this energy here. Uh, so I definitely like to see that. You do have this older man card. Again, I don't attach gender uh, to the cards in these general readings, but you could be dealing with an older man or an older person or someone with a lot of wisdom uh, could be important for you at this time, especially with the hermit card as well. Um, but really, um, I, again, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles represents work that you have done. It's a card of material success on the horizon. So I do feel, again, that this first row is quite simple. I think it's just saying that it, it's almost like the energy is being corrected by the universe. It, the, that's what the reconciliation is. It's like you're being made whole. You're being brought back up to that whole energy. I hope that makes sense. Uh, in your second row, you have this chain card. It says chain of events will affect your life. Um, clearly, this is going to be success, by the way. <laughs> so uh, I like that a lot, Scorpio, but you have this chain card. So there's clearly a positive. I can never figure this out, this camera, but uh, there's clearly going to be a positive chain of events coming in for you. So I like to see that. It's like one thing after another. Uh, in this row, you have the six of wands, the queen of wands, and the ace of swords. I do feel the Queen of Wands is asking you to be bold and assertive. You know, she asks us to be bold, to be assertive, to really go for things. She also asks us to like really grab on to something that's ours. It's like there could be a lot of success coming in for you, Six of Wands, but it's like sometimes I think we get a little bit nervous or a little bit scared when we start becoming successful. 
And I feel like this is saying embrace her energy and be strong, be assertive, be bold, and really go for what you want. Because again, clearly, there's like a big victory coming in for you. Six of Wands is attention, success, um, you know, good things coming in for you. Ace of Swords is a victory. So I feel like there are there is like a big victory uh, coming in for you with this Ace of Swords energy. Uh, I also feel like there's more balance. Again, we kind of talked about this with that reconciliation card. Like I said, I think the best way to s describe the energies I'm getting here is that you're being made whole. Um, you know, it's like you've been missing energy and it's almost like the universe is filling you back up with that reconciliation energy. Again, it's almost like the the accounting is being done by the universe. You know, I think the universe is kind of like doing its end of year uh, energy tax where it's going to be paying us for all the energy and things that we've been, you know, giving out, right? And that's kind of like how I see, ooh, sorry, wrong camera. That's kind of how I see this. You know, there are these six golden yachts right here and the, the golden yachts, they're in perfect balance on the six of swords or the uh, ace of swords the ace of swords is like a card of a victory so i do feel like there is um you know definitely a victory coming in for you but also balance uh coming in for you because of this energy uh and like i said six of wands is a card of attention and success uh next you have this stork card it says news of a birth or a new business opportunity again i really feel you have that pin card which says new job or career you know really this could be very financial so there could be a baby coming in for some of you, but for others, I really feel that this is kind of like, like I said, the energy being brought back up to current or, you know, a better level in your life. And I also feel like you're being made whole by the universe, like I said, um, and maybe you've been lacking certain things for a long time. I'm not saying things are going to be perfect. I think you're being made whole. It's like the universe is bringing back a certain level of balance. And this is going to be a good thing. The kind of a weird message I'm getting on this card, it's just popping into my head right now, is that like I feel like you're going to be very focused on one thing. Like, you know, it could be a business, could be a relationship, could be career, but I feel like you're really focusing on that one thing. It reminds me of King of Wands energy. Uh, and maybe I've said this to you before, you might have had the King of Wands in past readings, but the King of Wands, he raises something like a child, like a baby. He really, really takes care of it. He really, you know, makes sure that uh, a baby has everything it needs. But his baby could be his business. It could be um, his career. He really takes care of it. And I get that energy for you here on this card. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Death card clearly walking away from something that no longer serves you. I do feel like for some of you, again, uh, if it's a past relationship that you did go back to, then you're walking away from it here. Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, uh, Ten of Swords, Death, major change, right? <laughs> Especially with the Death card here in this reading. Uh, for others, I feel like you're you could be letting go of something that you've been working on for a long time. I feel like I've said this to you before here, Scorpio. I feel like if you've been in a situation in like work, career, or business, it's almost like that was the training ground. It's like that's where you have learned everything you need to learn. And now the universe is encouraging you to start something new. I think the new thing you start is gonna be a much, much bigger victory. So don't be afraid to, you know, if a business isn't working, don't be afraid to start something new. Don't be afraid to walk away. Uh, same thing in love, I guess, but um, really I feel like this is talking about your finances. You know, these cards like this, like the casket, the coffin is closed. Um, any of these coffin cards, casket cards, whatever, they always remind me that we need to open the door. The coffin is always closed and like it is on this card. So it's like, it reminds me that we have to open the coffin. We have to undergo the death experience of releasing something to be able to step into the new life. And that's kind of like what I feel like is going on for you here. Um, so I like where this is going. It looks good. Again, don't be afraid to um, walk away from things that no longer serve you with the Eight of Cups. You know, he is walking towards the Nine of Cups. He is walking towards success. He is walking towards abundance and like good things coming in for him. So I do feel like there is a lot of success coming in for you with the Eight of Cups. But again, you're gonna have to put in the energy to kind of like make it happen with that Eight of Cups. Um, and again, I feel like there are blessings coming in for you as well. This guy, he's making a symbol with his hand right here. And that symbol represents blessings or receiving blessings. So, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like that some sort of death transformation is going to lead to blessings with the death card. Um, the death card is like a card of being excited by the new as well. You can see this little child is holding up a flower to the death rider. And this is your card. I do feel that it's kind of like putting you in a very strong position here, Scorpio, especially coming up in the first position. 
or I'm sorry, the, this first position in the last row here. Uh, and I feel like it's saying you are undergoing transition, but I would just be, you know, make sure that you are excited for it with the death card because the death card is, you know, again, we have a choice. We can be worried and fearful of it, or we can be very excited about this transition that we're going through. And the sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon in the background. So I do feel like there is like just a very exciting, very, um, you know, it's like almost like a very abundant new beginning is coming in for you. I want to see what this card is as well. Yeah, you have this quill card. It says getting back to basics on it. I do feel like, um, you know, I think that's true for everyone. Like, you know, I think keeping it simple at this time is very beneficial because there's a lot of like overcomplicated energy. Look at this reading I'm doing, overcomplicated, unnecessary probably, right? But um, I feel like getting back to basics is gonna be a good thing for you. But it looks pretty good. So again, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it appreciate it if I can get that word out. Part two is uh, linked up in the description down below. Again, it's available immediately and it's actually the pinned comment, sorry. Um, so definitely check out part two. But uh, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.